this is Ian from Pass Test, and I'm joined again by Dr. Brian Farragher with the answer to another popular question on statistics raised by candidates on the MRCP Part 1 exam. Dr. Farragher, thank you for joining me. Hello. Now, the question I've got for you is what is the difference between the Fisher Exact Test and the Chi Square Test? Yeah, thanks, Ian. This again is a very commonly asked question, and it is very confusing for people. In a way, the, the, the right answer to this is they're the same thing. There is no difference. Right. Um, the, the difference between them, in fact, is the, the way in which the two tests are calculated, but they're actually doing exactly the same job. Right. Now, to help us get a hedge around this, I've just prepared a few things on a, on a slide here. Imagine you've done a randomised controlled trial, and the outcome from your trial is um, whether the, the patients recover on each of the two treatments you're comparing. So you measure the proportion of patients who recover on treatment A, mm -hmm. and you do the same for treatment B, and then you compare those two proportions. Uh, and then you ask yourself the question, is the difference you've seen a real difference or is it just due to chance by doing a significance test? The Fisher Exact Test and Chi-Squared Test are the significance tests right. appropriate in this situation. And then that gives you the p-value, which allows you to decide whether you have got a real difference between your treatments. Mm -hmm. So the two tests are comparing proportions. The chi-squared test is a very old test, it's very easy to do, I can calculate it in a matter of a couple of minutes with just pen and paper and a calculator. Right. The problem is it's an approximate test, so the p-value you get, which is crucial to your decision process, may not be exactly right. Now if you've got big samples or you've got large proportions, it doesn't matter. It'll be close enough to the right value yeah. to be fine. But if you've got either very small samples or if either of your proportions is very small, the chi-squared approximations just don't work. The Fisher exact test is an exact test, but it's very complicated to calculate. You can't do it by hand. We've only really been able to do it in recent years with the advent of high-powered, um, fast computing. Right. So, in a sense, the answer to your question is you can use either test, providing you've got large samples and large proportions, but otherwise you really should be using the Fisher exact test to compare two proportions. Now, in the context of an MCQ question, if this comes up, the key here is comparing two proportions. In the answers, there should be either the Fisher exact test or the chi-squared. If it's there, that's your right answer. It's very unlikely both will be there, but if they are, my advice would be tick Fisher exact test, because that's the best test well, there is, because it's exact. That's great. Thank you, Doctor. So the exact test does exactly what it says on the tin? Exactly. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much. For the answers to more questions like this, feel free to browse our website, where you will find answers from Dr. Farragher and many other lecturers on a wide variety of topics. See you next time on Ask the Experts.